Hello guys from our hometown of Seward, Alaska, and I feel like we owe you an update. <laughs> We've been busy. Very busy. Yeah, it has been a crazy, what, two and a half months on this home stint. Uh, kind of, we are down for like a, over a month with various colds and baloney like that. Uh, yeah, the house is pretty much ready. It's done. It is done. There are a few things left to do but they uh, don't require like all the tools that we're sending down to Montana. Uh, final packing, like this is the point of no return. <laughs> and believe it or not, we made it all fit in the truck. You know, the truck bed is very full, but keep in mind our garage is roughly three feet deep, six and a half feet wide, and I think maybe Four feet four, tall. Four feet tall mm -hmm. or two, I don't know. Well, there's height to it. But either way, I think we did not overpack. No, I don't think so either. And we have some other things coming in the mail uh, to Montana from like Amazon and stuff like that. Yeah. But between all of the indoor storage and the basement, I think we're gonna be okay. There have been quite a few Amazon orders and we gotta <laughs> thank the seller of the motorhome. He yeah. has been so awesome. I'm not sure if he's comfortable with his name being out there, so we'll just refer to him as the seller. <laughs> but thank you so much. Uh, it's been awesome yeah. shipping down Amazon boxes, because why have stuff shipped up here than just to have no. it shipped down there? But well, and we, we said we were gonna do general delivery, and he's like, no, have it sent to our house. And we're like, wait a minute, you realize what you're committing to here? Yep. And he's like, nope, send him, we have a big garage, so. Shelby is doing very well. She enjoys the home time. Come on, Come on let's play. Come on, come on. Show them how you run around the house. Yeah, Full bore. Gonna get you. Come on. There she goes. Well, she's not going full bore right now, but when she wants to, she really gets Out into there. it. Gonna get you. There she goes. Since we're back here, I thought I'd show you some of the uh, housework I've been up to. With my dad's help, we got most of the decks stained. There's nothing growing in the garden this year. The current bushes are looking really good. More than enough uh, firewood for our family members that are gonna come in and our house sitter. And if you like rhubarb, we have plenty of it right now. Completely serviced lawnmower. The prowler's ready to go. Snow blade can be mounted up real easy. We've been enjoying a uh, few bonfires with friends and cooking out at night. Went around and painted most of the uh, fascia on the house because everything kind of runs off on these ends here. And uh, we don't have rain gutters because we have the, like, the most ridiculous snow load and freeze and thaw effect. Front deck is freshly stained and painted all of these and this is like a splash area from said roof and uh that totally needed some paint touch up i'm pretty happy because our lilac bush bloomed before we left and they smell so good so one really nice thing about our last week at home is that the weather's gonna be nice. Uh, there's still plenty of things to do, but it is not gonna be pouring down rain. Uh, I think it might even reach like a high of 70 uh, for the Mount Marathon race. That is like borderline heat wave for Seward. And it'll be great, cause you know, everybody has this nice holiday weekend to uh, celebrate and be with friends and family, and the weather's gonna be good. So I'm taking a little bit of a detour to the post office, but the town is starting to fill up. These are our softball and baseball fields, and the city turns them into campsites for all of the 4th of July festivities. And now we're moving into the whole waterfront park and campground area, and I can guarantee that almost all of the choice sites are full pretty awesome that our town has all of this prime real estate dedicated to one giant campground with amazing views. 
Now everybody comes to town uh, for the 4th of July because there's a historic Mount Marathon race. Oh, and I guess I can show that to you here, but that's Mount Marathon. Top is in the clouds, 3,022 feet. Uh, there's big festival. There's a big festival and vendors. And they close the streets down for it. Uh, fastest people, they go up and back down the mountain, starting in downtown, in less than 45 minutes. That is seriously climbing a 3,000 foot mountain and back down in 45 minutes. These are hardcore professional athletes. And another trip to the post office. I think we're gonna need a cart. Okay, here we go with the first load of boxes. Well, all but two of the boxes shipped and for the record, these extra large U-Haul boxes are uh, too big to do priority shipping and we're at the timeline where we have to do priority. Yeah, they can't be bigger than 108 inches if you total your width length and depth of the um, box. And how much, just for the record, everybody saw how much mm -hmm. was in there, how much? Uh, 821.95. And that was priority shipping. That was priority, it'll be there, um, like I think it's three day guarantee. Well, it is lunchtime, guys, and we're gonna take you somewhere very special to us. And just off exit Glacier Road is Le Barn Appetit. Our uh, dearest friends, Janet and Ivan, own this lodging business and crepery. Wow, wow. Hi. How are you? Finally you? over your Hi. Place, huh? Yes. <laughs> I come give you a hug in just a minute. So this is the crepe du jour, and it has eggs and cheese and your choice of meats. We always do reindeer sausage and spinach wrapped up in this amazing, delicious goodness. Here, let me help. Here we go. Ah, thank you. Customary to get a savory crepe and a sweet crepe. These have to be the best crepes this side of the Atlantic. Mm. And since it's 2018, we'll be sure to tell you that they do have vegetarian and gluten-free options. The plates are so beautiful, and we've always okay. loved the cups. This is a yeah, great picture else. of Janet and Ivan. Okay. So You're this, taking a bite of my side, Benjamin. Hey, it's in the name of getting the shot. So this is a rhubarb strawberry compote and uh, Nutella on top and fresh, real whipping cream. Mm. All right, love you. It's always great. Thank you guys for coming. So good to see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> Bye, Veronica. Bye. We might see you in Slovakia. Yeah. <laughs> Please mm -hmm. do call me. <laughs> this crepe might not make it to Ivan. Oh, I <laughs> I'm glad you remembered. All right, heading back home after a wonderful visit. And you know, sometimes you just meet special people in your life. You guys all know what I mean. Uh, the folks that just rarely come along, but they're just the most special people. And Janet and Ivan definitely fall into that category. And it was wonderful to spend some time with them before we depart. All right, guys, we've circled back down to the waterfront here and ducked into the Branson Pavilion. Uh, just kind of like a little place where people have gatherings and birthday parties. But for us, it's a windbreak right now. <laughs> I don't think the wind is so bad that I won't be able to fly the drone. Obviously, you know, I'm still going to give it a shot anyways. Uh, less than a week to go, honey. One week from tonight, yeah. we're going to sleep in our EV for the first time. There's some grand adventures ahead. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and we will see you on the next video.